Yeah, I think that when you talk about heat and cold, for the most part, especially if you're not talking necessarily about putting heat or, or cold to an injury, what you're usually doing is distracting yourself. You're really not pulling blood away from anything. You certainly wouldn't want to pull blood away from your brain. Your brain is a very, very important organ. You'd be pulling blood away from everything. But that's really not how the circulatory system works at all. The truth is, migraine doesn't really work that way either. But the reason why there is some vasodilation during migraine, that's not actually the source of pain. It's that there are inflammatory neurotransmitters that cause pain and also happen to dilate the blood vessels around the brain. So definitely do something that can distract yourself from the pain. There are even devices that will allow you to experience another sensation that's not migraine. It's something that could improve an attack, sometimes end an attack early, but it's not working the way that you think that it's working. Sitting in complete darkness makes a lot of sense because you do want to avoid the sensitivities that you experience, like light sensitivity. You certainly wouldn't want to provoke the sensitivities to be worse or to make things feel even worse for you. Vomiting itself likely doesn't end the attack earlier, although sometimes it can help with some of the nausea associated with migraine. There haven't been any studies that have shown that making yourself throw up allows you to abort or end the attack any sooner than it would have been going on otherwise.